This is Chloe Cast, Episode 10, The Great YouTube Purge, and Where to Go Next. Hey there, everybody. I am Mike the Zorch, owner and operator of the Zorch Central Channel, and on February 20th, I will be taken off of the YouTube Partner Program because I don't have the content and the subscriber roles in order to meet the new threshold. Same thing go, it will, is going to happen to Daniel's Gamers Bay. Daniel is the um, other person that's been producing videos here. And um, he's the owner of Gamers Bay and the Gamers Bay community that I've been advertising at the end of my videos. And his channel, his channel has the uh, hours of content necessary that he, for part of uh, what YouTube wants for the new threshold that they're going to set on February 20th. But we don't have the uh, subscriber count. Uh, he's going to try and get that up before February 20th. And I wish him luck on that because losing monetization on Gamers Bay would be catastrophic for him. I haven't seen a dime out of monetization on YouTube. Um, it won't really change much for me here because I haven't really seen any money from it. I've been helping his channel out and I've been working on mine and it's produced nothing. So nothing from nothing is nothing. So this really won't change much of anything. Um, I'll still be able to live stream that part. My personal channel is not a part of the partner program and I can live stream from there. So it won't change that, but still be able to live stream um, Elite Dangerous and other games. So when this happens on February 20th, I've heard estimates that the 95% of the channels on YouTube will be removed from the partner program. And I think those estimates are pretty, pretty on, pretty spot on. There's a lot of channels out there that are monetizing and this is going to end them. Uh, people who are trying to make a career out of this. So unless you jumped onto YouTube during its heyday, during its the golden age, you know, like Linus Tech Tips did, like PewDiePie did, like Jake Septic Eye did, unless like Jim Sterling did, unless you joined YouTube then and you have tons of subscribers today and hours and hours and hours of content. You're screwed. Screwed, glued, and tattooed. So, so here's what's going to go on. Uh, for one, um, I'm still going to support Gamers Bay, help them out with videos as often as I can get make them. Uh, I will continue making videos here on Zort Central. I've been improving the videos here. Uh, you've noticed the last episode of Random Thoughts used a green screen. TigerCon, who's sometimes with me on my um, Elite Dangerous streams, he bought it. He's my roommate here. We we own we jointly own this place, and. Um, We, uh, we've been using that, we use that green screen for that video. And on my personal channel, I released a, a test of it first. And then we tried it for a full video then. And I'm also trying some other new stuff. The latest What's on Steam was scripted. The first time I, I used an actual script and I... I've written a script for the next video on Gamers Bay that I'm going to do for a game called A Hat in Time. 
That's for the episode of the show that I announced that I'm going to do there called An Old Gamer Plays Next. And I'm still going to continue the retro gaming series on the retro game show on Gamers Bay called An Old Gamer Plays. I'm going to still be doing videos here. I've still got some videos to do here. And I'm still going to be producing my fan fiction and still releasing that every month for for my fans over there on uh, you know, fanfiction.net. But, but I have to do what I need to do in order to grow this channel. And as it stands, I don't see YouTube in my future. YouTube's not viable anymore. The reason why I say that is that this is the second time within so many months that YouTube has raised the bar on their monetization. And they're going to do it again. Before the end of the year, they're going to raise it a third or fourth time. They're going to do it. I have tried warning certain people. I'm not going to name names. But I've tried warning people. You know who you are. That YouTube wants to become the next Netflix. They want to become the next Hulu. YouTube has never been a money maker for Google. Ever since they bought this company, that the com it's never been a money maker for them. They've lost money on YouTube consistently. And because of the state of the economy, because it's so bad, and because the US the US dollar is failing and it's about to the US dollar is about to get eviscerated because of what China's gonna do. China's going to start trading um, oil in wands instead of US dollars. It's gonna basically eviscerate the US dollar. And so it's gonna end the dominance of the petrodollar. So our fiat currency system, which should have died a long time ago, is coming to an end. So basically YouTube is purging channels from their partner program because they simply just don't have the money to pay them all anymore. And YouTube has never been a money maker. So what they want to do is they want to turn YouTube into a paid service. They've already started with YouTube Red and bringing in the biggest channels that are out there, Vsauce and, and many others, bringing them in and, and producing paid content. And mark my words, and I make this prediction and be warned right now. I am warning you right now. My predictions have a 90%, almost almost 99%, um, have a, a perfection, what would I call that? They're almost 99% accurate. Almost 99% accurate. And I'm predicting right now that before the end of the year, we're going to raise the bar at least another two times before the end of the year because they want to basically uh, get rid of the free side of YouTube. And if they don't completely get rid of the free side of YouTube, they'll make it so difficult. They will make it so difficult for channels to for people to grow their channels in order to be able to monetize on the service that you might as well not even try. Because they want to just focus on the big channels that are very successful right now and any uh, original content that they make. And they're already starting to work on original stuff. That's what they're doing. And there's one person I told this to and they don't they didn't listen to me. And this is, this is the result. What's happening to my channel and Gamers Bay is a result of this. 
and I've been saying we need a competitor to YouTube. We need some place for channels like us to go to if YouTube com completely becomes impossible to use to make any money. Where, it become, where the bar is so high in order to monetize, you might as well not even try. And that's going to happen. I guarantee it. So, what's the alternative? Well, there was VidMe. The thing is, the reason why VidMe failed is because they were trying to solve a problem with the same energy that created it. You can't do that. Einstein basically said you can't do that. They tried to monetize. They tried to uh, set up to where people could donate the channels. No one was donating. And they tried to get advertising. They couldn't get advertising. So they, 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 they tried to replicate YouTube. And it didn't work. It didn't work. So, well, where do you go from here? Is there, is there a competitor? Well, I, I think there is. People are saying, well someone some powerful company needs to build a um build a competitor to youtube amazon's trying um facebook is becoming a uh, strong force in streaming and videos but you can't monetize on there unless you are like big corporation on this on their service and unless you pay them a lot of money so where do you go there's vimeo but you got to pay to upload there and there's daily motion and like they're primitive compared to youtube where can you go what alternative exists well what if I told you there was an alternative that was not attached to a big corporation? It is completely decentralized, so it does not require massive data centers and has hundreds of servers worldwide that keeps it online 24-7. And it's secured by using blockchain technology, which uses SHA-256 encryption. And... There are YouTubers right now on the service making more money than they ever made off YouTube today. And that service is called DTube. And DTube leverages cryptocurrency, basically uploading videos, watching videos, I mean, people watch your video, when people watch your videos and when you engage positively with the community and raise your reputation in the community, you are rewarded with the Steam Dollar cryptocurrency, which is, which you can exchange on the uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, the big, the big exchanges. So you can exchange it into either Bitcoin or you can exchange it into fiat currency, US dollars or whatever currency your country is from. And there are people who are making a really good living there. People making really good money. And it is, um, they it is transparent, fully disclosed how much money videos are making. There are some that are making almost a thousand dollars. A video. Let's make one one video out of their entire library making almost a thousand dollars. And that's just one video. And their other videos are making nearly that much. So I need to do what I need to do in order to make this channel successful. And if that means Leaving YouTube eventually, I will do it. So I have already taken the steps to create an account on DTube. It's a process because you have to join the Steemit community. 
you have to get approved so I've already started that process I'm waiting for my application to be processed and once it's ready and once I'm able to create a account on on DTube and once I have my Steam wallet created then and this when I say Steam it has nothing to do with Valve this is S T E E M not S T E A M it has nothing to do with Valve nothing to do with the game service Steam when um when my application is approved I will start putting videos there and but I will put videos on Resort Central as well but I will start putting content on DTube and if after if by the end of the year things don't change if by the end of the year and YouTube makes it harder to get over that threshold to monetize on their service and to be able to make some decent money and if I'm making some decent money on DTube Resort Central will no longer be updated and all my content will be on DTube from then on end um, I will continue supporting Daniel's channel Gamers Bay for the foreseeable future unless something really changes unless for some reason I can't um, make any more videos for him anymore because um, my health has, isn't that great and I'm a major procrastinator so I've got some videos that I have not uh, done yet that I need to do for his channel and So that's the state of things. So for now, I will continue producing content for Gamers Bay and my channel. But once I'm approved, I'm going to start um, downloading videos from my channel and putting them up on DTube. I'm not going to stop because I have to do what I have to do in order to make my business successful. Daniel's doing what he needs to do for his channel. I'm doing this for my channel. And you know, if Google doesn't like it that I'm putting the same videos on another service, well, they can bite me. I've been Mike. Thanks for watching.